If you've been wondering whether or not you should update to the latest NVIDIA driver 546.01, then this video is for you. Because in today's video, I'll be comparing 546.01 versus the previous driver 545.92. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, I'll be comparing uh, the, the last driver 545.92 against the most recent driver that came out yesterday, 546.01. But before I get to my results, guys, if you subscribe to my channel, please make certain that you have the notification bell set to all, so that when I do release a new video, you are notified instantly. And then at the same time, can hit that like button, the share button, and please do comment. Um, for those of you that aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing by the end of the video. And then um, while you're at it, you can go to my homepage, uh, full CPU optimization is how to unlock undervolting. Uh, step one and two is how to unlock undervolting in 10th gen and newer. This video is for 9th gen and older. And then I have throttle stop, MSR afterburner, etc. tutorials on my homepage. But let's get to the task at hand. So guys, um, I will provide a link uh, to the game ready driver forum. So this just gives you feedback on the latest driver. So I'm just going to go to fix general bugs uh, for RTX cards. I think 546.01 might be a very good option when, when it comes to RTX cards because fix general bugs, stable diffusion, significant performance reduction after driver update. So they fixed that bug. However, I don't really recommend this driver for if you're on a GTX or a RTX 20 series card. Um, you'll get you'll see in my results now but um, you'll see there's an open issue here so I'm just going to go through hardware acceleration again PC may randomly freeze bug check when Windows hardware accelerator GPU scheduling and NVIDIA SLR are both enabled so how do you fix that you go into Windows settings gaming uh, game mode graphic settings make sure hardware accelerator GPU scheduling is on but only in Windows settings. So what you do is you go into your browser, um, and uh, look, I'm on Opera GX, but uh, the same principle applies. You just need to go to settings, advanced, and then find hardware acceleration in your browser. And as you can see, mine switched off. Just switch off hardware acceleration in your browser. Then next, what you wanna do is you wanna go into Steam, go to Steam, go to settings, go to interface, and just make sure that enable hardware video decoding, if supported, is disabled. And then in if you're using VLC, just go to tools, um, preferences, input codecs, and this is gonna be on automatic, just set it to disable. And then lastly, what you wanna do is you wanna go into Discord, just go to settings, uh, settings, advanced, and then just switch off hardware acceleration. So the reason we want to do this is to mitigate. We want to mitigate this, this issue uh, that the latest drivers has where PC may randomly freeze bike check when Windows hardware accelerator GPU scheduling and NVIDIA SLR both enabled. So by disabling hardware acceleration in your apps, but keeping it on in Windows settings, this, this issue is mitigated. I'm not going to go into too many of these details. You can go over it. I'll post this link in the description of the video. Let's get to those results. Um, so the most recent driver is 546.01 um, and the, la the last driver is 545.92. So guys, um, I do recommend 546.01 on RTX cards. I don't recommend 546.01 on GTX cards. So on RTX cards, the feedback is that the, the performance has risen. On GTX cards, the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows are a, a, quite a step down. So um, when I, for 546.01, I think I tested 13 games, if I'm not mistaken. 13 or 14 or 15 games. When I add up all the average FPS, I get to a total of 856. Um, and then when I add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total of 635. 
and then when I add up all the 0.1% loss, I get to 507. So that's for the latest driver, 546.01. And just bearing in mind, I test on a GTX 1650 laptop, but your results should be comparable if you're on a GTX platform. And the reason I don't recommend this driver is because you compare it to the, the previous driver, 545.92, which was actually a pretty good driver in my, in my estimation. When I add up all the average FPS, I get to 861, so you can see it's higher than the, than 546.01. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total of 648. And you can see 648 is much higher than 635. So um, the previous driver is more stable already. And then when I add up all the 1% or the 0.1% lows, I got to 527. Uh, on the previous driver 545.92 comparing that to the most recent driver I get to 507 so you can see the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows are much better on 545.92 so if you're on RTX card because they fixed stable diffusion I think 546.01 might be a good bet but if you're on a GTX card like myself I still recommend 545.92, which was very comparable to 537.58. So on a GTX card, the two drivers I still recommend are 545.92 or 537.58. If you're on an RTX card, you might want to consider 546.01. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. Guys, it's the middle of the week. It's almost time for the weekend. The Springboks won the World Cup. Yay! Have a good one. It's people like you. Cheers.